And the champagne is bubbling to other ways. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Next up, great Canadian right. slalom racer, okay. Sasha Zaitsov. He's trying, he's looking good. He's got a I guess I've been off of racing cock. for almost since this time last year, so, it looks good. you know, you get those butterflies in the it's stomach and something I miss, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's such a great sport. I, uh, I do miss it, but ready to move on to something else. Tell us about your outfit today. Uh, this is, uh, you know, just a part of an ensemble for a Canadian tuxedo. Um, trying to keep it classy here, uh, but showing some Canadian spirit with the denim. Okay, so that is to a lot of So it'll be a good party, I think. So a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> I went topless, yeah, it's about 17 degrees out here, so I was trying to avoid uh, heat stroke. Um, yeah, so Bigsy had a good costume when I thought in the start I'd Maybe show some skin. <laughs> and uh, just your thoughts today on probably a pretty emotional day for you. Yeah, it's very emotional. You know, it's uh, my inbox is filled with kind, kind words from a lot of people that have supported me and touched me over the years. And uh, to be able to share it with, with my teammates, you know, there's four other guys here retiring and, um, and the people I grew up skiing with. Uh, that means a lot. And the coaches, I, the coaches I started with are here, um, so it kind of goes back full circle. And yeah, it was emotional. It was actually tough to focus on the race itself. Um, I'm still trying to enjoy it as much as possible. But yeah, it was a great day. So Eric, national slalom champion, how's that feel? Uh, pretty incredible. It's been a it's been a tough year, and to end it this way. Uh, with weather like this and the atmosphere, I wouldn't have it any other way, and I'm, I'm very pleased with it. And you happy with your two runs today? Yeah, uh, I, first run definitely knocked out a lot of the field, nice and ski clean and solid the whole way. And second run, I knew that there were two guys nipping at my heels, so I went for it, and uh, I think everyone made a few mistakes, but came out on top. And a couple of your teammates having their last runs today, is that pretty special to be part of that? Yeah, for sure, and JP Wall yesterday, and just what all those guys have done for this organization and for us. It, it's, it's sad and it's, it's bittersweet seeing them come down, and I'm so happy for them and to see them move on, and I appreciate everything they've done. He, he snatches the national championship this afternoon. So Mitch, congratulations, GS champion, Super G champion, Slalom champion, and 10 national titles. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, that's pretty good. It looks like uh, I only have eight more to go to beat Nancy Green's uh, record in the national championship title. So, you know, just keep going at it. <laughs> and how was it today? It looked pretty rough out there. Yeah, the second round was definitely a lot softer. There was like, it's because it was pretty inconsistent. Like some turns were amazing. Like all of a sudden you're like ripping for six turns and then, you, and then it's just, really soft and then I was hitting the raw, the, raw, the wrong place or I was kind of all over the place but I was letting the skis go and just always bring it down the hill and you know I was able to have the fastest run of the sec second round again that was awesome and you've been really consistent at the Canadians over the last couple years your name is all over the, the, the winners board how have you managed to do that I think it's like when I come here, I'm, I'm ski very relaxed, and what I what I do on the hill is what I can do in training, and there's no factors that can change what what I can do, like like say like stress in World Cup or like wanting to do well and thinking of results and thinking of stuff like that. Here, I'm always like having fun, and you know, like it's not really like a or you're doing like dry land at three and you're doing this and that and like you don't you're not in a routine anymore it's just like kind of just relax at the end of the year and it just seems to bring out some good skiing for me i guess yeah it's been fantastic the uh, weather gods cooperated and whistler blackcomb gave us a lot of support from the mountain the weasels did a fantastic job and we've executed probably one of the higher quality race series we've had in canada in a long time and uh, how nice was it to get a downhill running again here? That was phenomenal. Having another downhill track in uh, Whistler that we can use to develop athletes is, is perfect. And this track uh, has all the elements we need to, to help uh, have great races and help the kids. Is this your thoughts on the Weasel Workers? They have a pretty good reputation across Canada for being one of the best groups of volunteers. What makes them so special? Uh, their hearts are into it. Uh, Owen Carney, the uh, granddad of all the weasels, has uh, created a great legacy here for future ski racing and uh, those weasels, they, they do an unreal job.
Well, it's been awesome. It was a lot of work putting it together, but since it's uh, the last six days, the weather's been good, and the volunteer wizard workers haven't had it so easy in a long time. And what is it about your group that makes them so special, your group of volunteers? Well, um, there's no hierarchy. Everybody works together and uh, works hard, and the day we have a beer together, then it, it's just a common ground. And then a lot of parents, when their kids leave the clubs and that, they have a place to go, so they come and join the Wizard Workers. Well, I think this has been for for Whistler and for Canada just one an outstanding week here. We've had beautiful weather, beautiful support from Whistler Blackcomb, the sponsors, all the volunteers, Whistler Weasel Workers. Just an incredible turnout here, and it's so great to see Canadian Championships back here in Whistler. And uh, running a, the first downhill here since the Olympics must be pretty special for all of you. Oh, it's a big thrill for us, for sure, for myself, for Rob Boyd, uh, who actually set the course. We've been dreaming about this time for a long time and now it's come forward and uh, I think very well received downhill track by the athletes and the coaches so we're really pleased.